Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dan the Skipping Man Summer Skip. It is week seven. We're so close to the Dan the Skipping Man Summer Skip Live, there really isn't long to go now. 8th of July is the time for all you schools to come on and do a live skipping session with me. Now, focus points for this week for key stage one. We are going to focus on hopping. Okay, so it's from the Dan the Skipping Man 10 second skips and it's literally hopping on one foot. Can they do it for 10 seconds? Can they build up their confidence and their balance as they go? Don't worry if they make a mistake, just start again. But hopping is the real focus this week. Don't forget all the links are in the description. Secondly, it's turning and hopping in a long rope. Now this is from Dan the Skipping Man Little Skippers. Obviously it needs a teacher or an adult on at least one end of the long rope. You could have a child on the other end if you want to, but preferably two adults. The child is bouncing like Tigger and then and you're going to ask them to turn a circle and you're going to ask them to hop as well and you're going to test. For key stage two, we're looking at two real coordination skills this week. In I Can Skip Super Skipper, we're looking at crossovers. So that's where the elbows touch, the child reaches down to their pockets and they skip through the cross in the rope. Crossovers are a brilliant, really popular skill to do. Can your children do them this week? Let's have a go and have a practice. And then from Dan the Skipping Man 10 second skips, we're looking at side swings. So it's skipping normally, bring the hands to one side, reach down with the rope turning parallel to the body, back into normal skipping and then to the other side as well. Okay, and then back into skipping. This is a really simple, fun trick to do. Children love to have a go at this and we can build on this as well after they get to grips with what they're doing with just a standard side swing. For secondary, you're in the Dan the Skipping Man 10 second skips this week as well. And you're not just doing side swings, you're building on from that. So you're going to do 180s. That's basically skip normally, do a side swing to one side, turn and skip backwards, do a side swing again, turn and skip forwards. 180s are quite complex. They're brilliant fun though. Just be careful that no one and nothing is around you. And secondly, for secondary schools, it's double unders. Now, this is all about balance, coordination and agility. Stay safe, stay in your space, make sure you don't knock yourself with the rope, really lift those knees high, get the weight forward as you lift your knees into a tuck jump and make sure the rope whistles round for two turns for one jump. It's double unders for secondary schools. Those are your two focus points for this week. Challenges for week seven are simple. For key stage one, it's 10 hops in a row. Right foot or left foot, I don't mind. Just 10 hops in a row for key stage one. For key stage two, it's 30 seconds of crossovers. Now we're not looking for continuous crossovers, keeping the arms crossed all the time. You do a crossover, come back to normal. You might stop because you make a mistake. That's fine, just start again, back into a crossover. How many actual times of skipping through the cross can you do? And for secondary schools, how many double unders can you do in 30 seconds? We're not looking for continuous here. You don't have to really make it too hard on yourselves, but how many double unders, two turns for one jump, can you do in 30 seconds? On the Dan the Skipping Man Summer Skip, I hope you have a great week in week seven, and we'll see you again for the last week, week eight, and then of course on the 8th of July. I can't wait to get you all skipping live. Dan the Skipping Man Summer Skip Live on the 8th of July.